Well, you know, that's like one of Daniels' best friends, right? Who's Daniel? Oh, only Bolden's like biggest football star, not to mention like most gorgeous female sports women in all of Central Texas. How are we supposed to get in with the football team? Y'all have to hook up with them. <laughs> That's the biggest cliche I've ever seen. And we're not trading our sexuality for what? Popularity? Here's it for. Daniel, you two have been talking? A little bit. Actually, I think we're gonna have sex. Wow. <laughs> I know. Really? He uh, left me on red. He's just like so busy. Maybe you should take that as a sign. It's perfect. He's like perfect. Okay. Fine, sure. I just, uh, I really want to make sure that you get to know him a little better. So, what a smoke screen. There's your man's. What happened to you guys coming together? We're her friends. If we don't tell her the truth, then who will? Look, y'all are sitting here letting her think that Daniel is in love with her, and he's not. And we know that he's not. If a guy loves you, he'll want to be with you. He's not serious about her. He's going to break her heart. It's a game to them. Who you had sex with his name on the back. Please get rid of that t-shirt. And get over him. An asshole. If you really think that this t shirt means that I look at you as some kind of trophy, you are so wrong. You're not pretty enough for that. Wow. You are one awesome guy. Do I know you? I'm just another girl completely fascinated by you. What on earth made you feel so insecure that you felt the need to trash an innocent sophomore girl like that to keep her dignity? What happened to you to make you this insecure? Your parents never loved you enough. Mommy never hung your artwork on the fridge. Daddy doesn't come to your games. No. You didn't grow enough hair on your dick in middle school and you were bullied for it. Start behaving like a human being. But walking around here like a cliche. Move. Yeah, listen, y'all know. Daniel. Hmm. You can call me whatever you want. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna call you asshole. I find you completely impulsive. You're an entitled, rich, spoiled boy who uses his immense privilege as an excuse for cruelty. really mean and judgmental. You don't even know me. I know enough. Do you really? Beautiful Grace Olson. You go in the car? None of your business, Donald. Always so cold. If you think about it. The best way to get rid of me is just go out with me. <laughs> Great logic. Will that be all for today, or...? No. There's one more thing. What? Freaking hell, you're gorgeous. I didn't mean what I said about you not being pretty enough. 
You're more than pretty enough. Okay? I haven't seen you in a while. I've been here. Donald. How's the boyfriend? What? Chris doesn't have a boyfriend. Ex. Um, actually, my ex. Sorry to hear you broke up. Okay, Daniel knows that you don't have a boyfriend. But you made up an imaginary boyfriend so you wouldn't have to hold up your end. She seems so happy. Well, she won't be if she finds out Daniel only apologized to her because you made him. Daniel Williamson? He sounds like a blast. Who is he? He's, uh... He's nobody. I'll leave Kelsey alone. Just keep your word. Go on a date with me. Okay. He's just like this entire...